Fit Body Nation, who's ready for an ab workout today? That's right, we're gonna be breaking it down, focusing on the abdominals today. We're specifically gonna be hitting the obliques. I'm gonna be using a 10 pound dumbbell. She's gonna use a set of water bottles. And if this is your first time to the channel, we wanna be the first one to welcome you to the Fit Body Nation. We like to do fast paced workouts on this channel. We do something called the Home Fitness Challenge. That's where you have 16 challenges to pick from. Those challenges could take you from an hour to a day to a week to get through. But as soon as you finish the one that you've chosen or the two or the three or the all 16, you'll get points for finishing them. Those points will put you on a live leaderboard where you're competing against myself, Sarah, and the Fit Body Nation all around the world. Make sure you check below in the description and you will see a link that will take you to the Home Fitness Challenge and you can get signed up, get your name on the leaderboard and start kicking butt on those 16 challenges. So with all that being said, are you ready to get this rocking? Heck yes. All right, let's do this thing. Also, before I forget, you're gonna need a towel or a t-shirt. Okay, Fit Body Nation, so we're about to jump right into our warm up. Our warm up is gonna last three minutes. Once we get done with the warm up, we'll take about a minute to a minute and a half to rest and I'm going to explain the first four exercises. If you're brand new, the way we do it is we take four circuits. In each one of those four circuits, we have four exercises to complete. We'll spend 30 seconds apiece on those four exercises and we'll go through each circuit for three rounds. So you'll have a little bit of time in between to rest. And then from circuit to circuit, we'll take about 90 seconds to rest. And that gives me just enough time to explain the next four exercises to you. So with all of that being said, let's get this warm up started. Are you ready? Ready. Let's do this thing. All right, I'm gonna start the timer. All right, so timer's running. We're gonna start with a jog in place. My favorite exercise to start with. I usually don't deviate too far away from it when it comes to the warm up. Now, with our warm up, I'm not trying to absolutely kill you or kill myself. I like to save most of our energy for the workout. So, I know these warm ups can be a little low key at times, but that's, that's on purpose. And we keep it pretty simple and save, yeah, pretty much all the challenging stuff for the workout itself. So we're gonna take another 10 seconds with the jog in place here, and then we're gonna go into a squat. Now with the squat, I want you to move a little bit faster. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, feet at shoulder width, keep the weight on those heels. You're gonna go down and up. Your knees may pop one or two times in the beginning, and then I want you to pick your pace up. There we go, good. Now it's Friday, so since it's Friday, what do you got planned for the weekend? All right, drop it in the comments below. I always like to see people's weekend plans. We're gonna be going to spend some time with family for a couple days, nothing too crazy, and then headed back. So just a quick weekend getaway. All right, good, keep it up, keep moving on this a little bit faster now with these squats. Try to match my pace, there we go. Good, that's it, you got this, come on. Perfect, now let's take it back. We're gonna go into jumping jacks. So for this one, I was gonna take it back into a jog. I almost said it, but let's go into jumping jacks on this. After we get done with this, we're gonna take it into a plank. That way we can start to get some blood flow down into our abdominals. There you go, good. You got it. Keep it up, keep moving. Here we go. So about 10 more seconds with the jumping jacks here. So let's go ahead and pick our pace up again. We wanna get the blood flowing on this one. Got about five seconds, and we're dropping it into a plank on our forearms in three, two, one. Drop it down. So for this one, straight body on your forearms. Keep the butt down, keep your head up. There we go, that's it, good. Good, good, good. And hopefully wherever you're at this weekend, you got nice weather. It's starting to get nicer and nicer around here. We're still in the crazy days where it'll be snowing one day and 80 the next, but right now it's starting to get a little bit nicer. All right, we're gonna keep it here, but we are gonna walk it up into a straight arm plank right here, good. Now that's a little bit easier of a plank version, but we're gonna continue pumping the blood flow down to our abs. Now from this, we're gonna go back up and we're gonna finish our last 20 seconds with a jog in three, two, one. Back up to your feet. So just like we did when we started, we got the jog in place, good. You got it, 12 seconds left, so let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. There we go, come on. And we got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, relax from the warm up. Make sure you got a set of dumbbells or weights to use. Make sure you got that t-shirt 
that you can use as well, or a towel, that's what we're gonna use. All right, and we're gonna be going through the first four exercises. Now, the first exercise we're gonna do, I'm gonna be using a 10 pound dumbbell. Sarah is going to modify this exercise. She's not gonna be using a weight at all. So for this one, we're doing a hollow rock hold with a dumbbell. I said that with a high pitched voice, with a dumbbell. All right, so for this one, your back, your arms are straight. Now, you wanna be on the small of your back and also your butt, okay? Keep your legs up. So what this is doing, the weight's pulling you down. You're having to fight to keep your arms up. This kills the abs. Sarah's doing a modified version where she's gonna alternate her arm back every five seconds. Doing an alternating arm like that makes it a little bit easier, but not a lot. Then after that, we're gonna do a Spider-Man push-up. For this one, you go down, you bring your knee to your elbow, push it up. We're gonna alternate sides. Sarah is going to do a hold. All right, she'll do the Spider-Man, but she's gonna be in a locked out push-up position. After that, we're doing a dumbbell hip raise. So you're gonna take a dumbbell. This is where you'll need a heavier one if you're using a water bottle. You're gonna place it on your side, not on the hip bone, that'll hurt. And we're gonna go down and up, so a weighted side hip raise. We'll do 30 seconds on one side, 30 on the other. That's our first four exercises, all right? So get ready, we're gonna be starting in about 10 seconds. All right, so get your dumbbell water bottle if you're using that, or if you're following Sarah with her modification. We're gonna be locking it out, so lean back, arms back, and hold it. All right, so if you're using a dumbbell, keep it locked behind your head. You want your arms as straight as possible. Good, keep those legs up. Perfect, 20 seconds left. There you go. Keep those shoulder blades off the ground, good. That's it, from this we're going into our Spider-Man. Come on, you got it. Keep it tight, it's gonna be hard to talk on this one. There we go, five seconds. Come on, you can do it, I know you can. All right, flip it over. So Spider-Man push-up if you're doing the push-up version with me or the hold with Sarah. So down, now your shin should actually be pointing at the wall, all right? If your shin is pointing at the ground, you're not bringing it up high enough, okay? Good, so down, I'm touching my knee to my elbow, shin is pointed at the wall, out horizontally. There you go, it's really gonna crunch the obliques, those love handles. All right, side plank hip raise. So grab your dumbbell that you're using. I'm gonna use a 30 for this one. Sarah's gonna use a 10. Now, you wanna make sure that you do not put the dumbbell right on your hip bone. That will hurt a lot. And when you bruise a hip bone, for some reason they stay bruised for a long time. But you wanna to try to get your hip down to the ground, right back up. You won't get a lot of reps on this, that's fine. But you're gonna build strength up, muscle, and switch, other side. Here we go. Transition as quick as you can. There we go. Good. So down and up. Cool thing is, after this we get to rest. Super simple, no big deal right there. First round will be done. Two more left for this circuit. Ooh, how you feeling, Sarah? It's a burner. It's burning. Definitely. All right, eight seconds. Come on, you can do it, keep working with us. All right, relax, 30 seconds. So make sure you got your weights, you know what we're doing. That's the first round. Two more rounds just like that, starting back with the hollow rock hold, with a dumbbell in hand, or switching like Sarah's doing. 18 seconds. Definitely can feel it burning in those obliques. Oh yeah. We're gonna For get, sure. We're gonna get rid of those love handles. <laughs> Fat's slow fat, but that's okay. So keep your nutrition on point. We'll get the workouts on point here. All right, let's get ready. So back, keeping it nice and tight. This first circuit's gonna work us or warm us up for all the others that are about to come. It just gets a little more and more challenging each time. And we've got some new exercises in here I think you'll like. Pretty much like every workout. 14 seconds. Try to keep the shoulder blades up. Here we go. From this, we're going in those Spider-Mans. Five seconds. All right, so flip it over. Here we go. So remember, down, shin points to the wall. Back up. Since this time we're focused more on working the obliques, you can go pretty slow with this. You don't have to go super fast or anything. Good, all right, I got that first beat of sweat building up. 
Ooh, there we go. Come on. You can do this. After this, we're going in those hip raises. All right, side plank hip raise with the dumbbell. So grab your weight, lock it out. Hips go up and down. Nice and controlled. Good. Come on. You got it. You can do it. Now, your abs or obliques that are facing the ground, that's what's going to burn. That's what's working. Good. Three seconds. And transition as quick as you can. That way you're not wasting any time. It should take about five seconds to transition. Maybe a little less. Good. You got it. Hips all the way to the ground. Right back up. Full range of motion. You don't want to cheat yourself on this. You're going through the pain. You may not get as many reps, but hips to the ground. Oh, my back up. Good. Five seconds. All right, relax. Whoo! I am already dripping sweat. I told Sarah, I was like, you probably won't sweat that much tonight with this workout. But I am officially a liar because I am sweating. So I know y'all are going to be sweating too. Okay. 15 seconds, we got one more round, and then we get to rest for 90 seconds so I can explain the next ones. Do we're good on this. Ooh, they definitely burn it. Big time. All right, five seconds. Hollow rock. Hold it in place. Keep the dumbbells up or alternate arms like Sarah's doing. You can also just keep two hands behind your head if you kind of want that in-between modification. So not a dumbbell, but not quite what Sarah's doing. Good. Those legs are up. Do it perfect. Come on, 10 seconds. Almost there. Five seconds. It's a burner. Ooh. All right, Spider Man push ups. All right, let's go. Let's drop it down. Good. Dropping it down. That's it right there. Come on. Don't worry about going fast. Get those nice clean reps, bringing that shin up. Try to touch the knee to the elbow. Perfect. There you go. Very good. All right, side plank hip raise. Here we go, last two on this. Left and right side, let's go. Hip up, hip down. Hip up, hip down. There we go. All right, 15 seconds. Good. Ah, don't stop. Oh, it burns. Eight seconds. It burns my forearms. Just sliding. Oh, I switch it around. Okay. You're perfect. Here we go. All right. Up and down. Good. Ah, can't talk on this last one. But we do have a long rest coming up, so that's good. A few seconds. About seven seconds left. Hip up, hip down, all the way. All right, relax. So we got 90 seconds, get some water real quick. I'm gonna explain the next four exercises. Okay, so for our next four exercises, the first one, we're going back to that hollow rock hold, just like we did. This time, no weight, though, and we're going to do a flutter kick with it. So arms behind your head, nice and straight. You're going to do a nice, pretty kick. Once we get done with that, we're going into a hamstring hip rotation. For this one, your hips are off the ground. Your hands are locked overhead, and you're going to twist, and we're going to do 30 seconds on one side only. Now, this will feel weird because your hips are locked. And you're also rolling onto your shoulder. But what this will do is force those obliques to work. You can also hold a dumbbell with it if you want, which is what I'll probably do, like a 10 pound dumbbell. And then after we get done with that, we're doing a forearm T rotation plank with a knee. All right, so this one, we're gonna rotate off our forearms, bring that knee in. Back to the forearms, rotate the other side, bring the knee in. So just like that. Then the last one, we'll be back on our back again, and we're going to be doing that same hip rotation, but to the opposite side, all right? Four exercises, really hitting on the obliques. All right, we got about 30 seconds till we start, so get some water if you need it, 
We'll be cranking this one out. Whew. Hope you're ready. Got that sweat still dripping. Heart rate still up a little bit. All right, hollow rock with the flutter kick starting out on this one. Okay, same position, get comfortable. 10 seconds till we start. Remember, hands are locked behind your head, nice and straight. Doing the flutter kick. Five seconds. In position. All right, here we go. So shoulder blades are up, head is up, arms are straight back behind the head. Flutter kick, flutter kick, flutter kick. Good, you got it. Come on. That's it. Keep it up. If you want to hold a dumbbell, you want to get crazy with it, you can do that as well. It's a Friday workout, so it's not quite as intense as our other ones during the week, but that's kind of nice. All right, keep kicking. Eight seconds. We got those hamstring hip raise with the rotation next. All right, so here we go. So for this one, hips up, rotate over, right back. Now you can hold a dumbbell for this one if you want, totally fine. I probably will at the second round. I'm into with this first one, but I didn't grab it. Good, so keep those hips up, rotate over, and back. Hips up, rotate, and back. Come on. There we go. We're gonna be flipping onto our forearms next. All right, I'm gonna flip it right where I'm at. So forearms, so for this one, rotate over to a side plank, do that knee crunch. Flip to the other side, knee crunch. Now the first round is always our learning round. We'll get faster with our second round. And then much faster with our third round. Good. And when you do that knee crunch, you hit those obliques. Good. Come on, we got this. All right, on your back again. So now arm is locked up. You're twisting. Bring those hips up, twist to the side, and back. Good. How's it feel, Sarah? A little awkward. It's definitely an awkward movement. But you get a nice pull in the obliques when you do it. And the more weight you add to it, so a dumbbell, you get even more resistance out of it. All right, relax. So now this time, let's pick our pace up. I'm gonna make sure I got a weight to do that one with. Okay, so a little bit faster this time. We've got the hollow rock with the flutter kicks. We've got the hamstring hip raise with that rotation. I'm gonna hold a 10 pound dumbbell. Now try to get your hands, the back of your hands, to the ground when you do those rotations. The last little bit of that rotation is what really matters. And then our forearm plank rotate with that knee, all right? So here we go. All right, so flutter kick, good. Keeping the arms back. Got a little bit of sweat rolling still here. 22 seconds. Come on, you can do it. Here we go. Got our hamstring hip raises next with the rotation, the oblique rotation. Good. You can do this. Come on. Eight seconds. There we go. There we go. There we go. Keep those shoulder blades up. All right. I'm gonna grab a dumbbell this time. Good. And back. Perfect. Now, if you want to ease up a little bit on your shoulders. Take your feet farther away from your butt, okay? Like notice how my feet are farther out. This will help you a little bit. So if it feels like just a completely awkward movement, you might have your heels too close to your butt. All right, good. All right, on your forearms, get those T rotations in. So here, rotate, boom, get it. Rotate, boom, get it, good. Here we go, side to side. Perfect. Every time, back onto the forearms, rotate. Knee to the elbow. Rotate, knee to the elbow. Boom. Here you go. All right, keep those hips up. Take the heels away from your butt this time. It'll help you out a little bit. All right, over to the side. And back to the side. And back. Good. Perfect. Come on. You can do this. Here we go. Almost there. 
You got it. Don't stop. And relax. Okay, we got one more round on this. I'm pretty sure I got a Charlie horse in my hamstring from that one. Okay, we got one more round, so 30 seconds. Going back to the hollow rock with the flutter kicks this time. So I noticed for me, my shoulder blades started dropping, holding that last one with the flutter kick. So if that was you as well, try to focus on getting your shoulder blades just a little bit higher off the ground. All right, more of the small of your back and your butt should be touching, but not necessarily from the middle of your back up. All right, good. Still a little bit more than I want to be, but that's okay. Keep those shoulder blades up. Keep the hands out of your vision. They should be behind your head. Make a straight pencil. You got the hamstring hip rotation next. 13 seconds. Come on, keep those shoulder blades up. Almost there, almost there. Hamstring hip rotation in five seconds. All right, here we go, hips up. Grab your weight if you're using it. Over to the side and back. Yeah, it definitely feels easier for me on my left side. My right side is probably my most, most awkward side. I think it's because my shoulder's messed up on that side too. Good. But well, I like this one because you get a pull not just in the obliques, but you also get one in the back. All right. Some of those muscles back there are really hard to hit on. All right, forearm. It over. Let's go. So start here. T rotation. Woo! Almost lost my balance. And back. T rotation. Bring the knee to the elbow. Ooh, there we go. Let's get it. Good. Come on. Here we go. Now these may not be the prettiest thing, but that's okay. You can do it. I know you can. Woo! Here we go. All right. So here we go, back to the uh, hips up. Let's do this. Good, 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 good. All right. Whew. Perfect, keep those hips up. Come on, you got it. Rotate over, back to center. Now good news is we get to rest for 90 seconds after this one. I probably don't need 90 seconds. This one wasn't the hardest round. All right, so relax. We got 90 seconds, get some water real quick. I'm gonna start telling you about the next four exercises. All right, so we're moving right along. We're on our third circuit now. So for this one, you're gonna need that shirt or the towel, whatever you're using, so keep it close. The first one we're gonna start with again. I'm killing you with these, but this hollow rock here, arms back. For this one, you bring your left leg in, kick it out. Right leg in, kick it out. Try to keep the shoulder blades up. Then we're gonna do a mountain climber, but it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna do mountain climbers as fast as we can. When I say up, jump up, back down into the mountain climber. When I say up, you jump up, drop it right back down into the mountain climber. Then you're gonna grab your towel. We're gonna to start, hands overhead, whip it under, try to hit your butt, whip it back, under and back. Now I'll tell you, if you catch your feet, it's gonna pull you backwards, okay? So if you land on your back at any point, that's what happened. Then the last one is a push-up with a Russian rotation. Okay, so for this one, we're going to do one push-up. You're going to flip it over. We're going to get one, two, three, four. Push it up. One, two, three, four. The first couple rounds, got a bug there. The first couple rounds, I'll count. Then after that, I'll let you count your own pace. I know Sarah likes to go faster on the Russian twist than I do. You may like to go super fast as well. I'm a bit of a slower pace when it comes to those, okay? But that's our first four exercises on this one. So starting with the hollow rock, arms behind the head, doing the bicycle crunch. All right, we got 17 seconds till we start. So make sure you keep this close. That way you can grab it. Now it'll probably be the hardest exercise on here. At least it will be for me. All right. Whew. All right, four seconds. Arms back, now bring your left knee in as close to your chest as you can, then your right. You can go fast on this, you can go slow. Bicycle crunches, that's another one I go way slow on. Always have. But there's nothing wrong with going fast, it's, it's not going to hurt anything. I know Sarah's trying to match my pace over here. You can go faster than that if you want. Okay. I'm just naturally slow. Alright, 10 seconds. Good, we got our mountain climbers next. We're going to flip it right over. Three, two, one. All right, flip it over. So for this one, mountain climbers, 
Remember, when I say up, and up. Here we go, right back down, mountain climber. Come on, faster. Up, back down, come on. Up, come on, here we go. Up, let's go. Almost there. And up. Good, mountain climbers, come on. All right, grab your towel. Here we go. Start over your head. So whip it under to your butt. Whip it back. Under, whip it back. Under, whip it back. Woo, burning baby. Definitely. Oh no, I did it. I did it. Make that into a game. All right, put in the comments how many times you fell over. I'm stuck. Come on. All right, push up with the Russian. All right, start the push up position. That hurt. That definitely hurt. All right, here we go. So one push up, flip it onto your butt, and twist. One, two, three, four. Right back to a push up. Flip it over. One, two, three, four. Whip it over. Push up. Let's go. All right, count your own reps on this one, but do a four count. You can also bring your feet off the ground with the Russian twist to make it that much harder. And relax. Whew, that was, that was a tough one. That was okay. a fun one though. I wouldn't call it fun. <laughs> well, I changed up the extra. I did change yeah. the pace. Okay, so going back into our hollow rock, then our mountain climbers. Sarah's gonna be calling the up this time with the mountain climbers. Oh. Then the shoulder over the feet with the push-ups and the Russian twist. Are you ready? Yep. All right, we got eight seconds. I screwed it up on those shirt over the feet. Holy cow, I was falling over like crazy. All right, here we go. So bicycle, keep those arms up. Definitely go faster this time. See if you can match Sarah's pace. I'm gonna go slow. So do as I say, not as I do. There we go, 18 seconds. Here we go, come on. Perfect, keep those shoulder blades up as much as you can. There we go. Pretty much have to constantly correct yourself on this. It's okay, it's normal. We got mountain climbers next. All right, flip it over and listen for Sarah's call. All right, mountain climbers. As fast as you can. Up. Mountain climbers. Up. Crank them out. Keep going. Push yourself. All right, grab your shirt or towel. Whew. Here we go. Starting over your head. To the butt. Right away. I need a longer towel or longer arms or shorter legs. I found my weakness for an exercise. This is it. Come on. Ben loves abs. Oh, man. One of my worst exercises ever. Okay, push ups with that Russian twist. Here we go. So push up, flip it over, twist, side to side, four count. Push it back, over, side to side, here we go. Good, push ups, side to side, all day long. Good, whoa, here we go. Come on, we're almost there. Okay, all right, last round's coming up. Doing good. I'm gonna sweat, it's ripping. I usually do not sweat with a half workout. I am tonight. Okay, back to the hollow rocks. The battle climbers with the ups. Let's play the rock, paper, scissors, see who calls it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah, I call it. All right, five seconds. Hope you're ready. Back to the bicycles. Oh, this round is gonna be rough. I can already feel it. Keep those shoulder blades up, arms back. Here we go. Just pay attention to what's going on with your body at all times. Because once you start to get tired, like we are, that's when you want to relax all those little areas. And when you relax some of those areas, you don't get a lot out of this. So you kind of have to constantly correct yourself. Five seconds. We got the mountain climbers next. I'm making the calls. All right, flip it over. 
nice and quick. Here we go. Left and right, left and right, and up. Back to it. Come on. Faster. Up. Here we go. Back to it. Fast. Come on. Work with us. Work with us. Up. Come on. Let's go. Almost there. Almost there. Up. Don't slow down on me. Here we go. Four seconds. Up. Come on. All right. Grab your towel or t-shirt. Oh I hate this exercise already. It's a good one. Whew. It doesn't like me. Here we go. Oh, so you can keep those feet up between. Yeah, right. Ah. First Whoa. round, maybe. Ten seconds. Uh -huh. <laughs> I did it after laughing. All right, come on, four seconds. Ah. Nope, that's that one. All right, we got those push-ups with the rotation, the Russians. Here we go. Push up on your butt, feet up. One, two, three, four. Push up. Flip it over. One, two, three, four. Let's get it. Push up. Over. One, two, three, four. Push up. Oh, the sweat is rolling. Two, three, four. Four seconds. Okay. Oh, whoo! Job well done on that one. All right, we got 90 seconds. Fist bump here. Fist bump because you rock. Killing it. So 90 seconds. I'm going to explain the next four. So now this is our fourth circuit. So we're going to start out. We're going to do a hollow rock. The actual rocking movement. The legit exercise. So you're going to be here behind your head. You're rocking up. Now I said I'd never do this one at the end of a workout again after the last time that it completely kicked my butt. But we're going to. After that, we're going to do a wide flutter kick. So hands on your chest, you keep your feet wide. It's going to feel really weird in your legs and your joints here, but you're keeping your legs wide and it's going to force more of the lower and the obliques to work when you do this. Then we're doing a Bruce Lee wide plank. So a Bruce Lee plank is where you spread out nice and long, but we're also going to widen our hands and our feet to hold it. This takes a ton of oblique muscles, okay? All the sides right there when you're locking it out like that. Then the last one is a speed burpee because you can't have your abs unless you burn all the fat off. So we're gonna be doing burpees at the end and we're gonna do them as fast as humanly possible. All right, I think the most I've done in 37, or in 30 seconds is 17. What have you done? I think 12? I think nine might be the most we've ever done in 30 seconds. I'm gonna say 12, but, <laughs> so we're gonna start out first round, we're gonna set the bar. Second round, we're going to go and beat that bar. We're going to go faster with the burpees. And third round, we're going to try to set all of our highest records. I'm going to go for 18 because I'm pretty sure 17 is the most I've ever done. You're going to go for 12 because I'm pretty sure 11 or 12 is your highest, but I don't, I don't remember. So you go for your best. So set the bar nice and challenge. Challenge yourself on it. Is okay? it full burpee? Full burpee. Full burpee. All right. So hollow rocks, four seconds. So, feet up, arms up. This one, you're literally rocking onto your butt. You try to keep your hands behind your head. From this one, we'll go into our flutter kick. Now, when I rock forward, I let my heels tap the ground, and then I go back. Good. 15 seconds. Come on, you got this. We got our wide flutter kicks next. Five seconds. Right, hands on your stomach or you can sit on them, take your legs wide. Now you're going to go slow on this. It's really hard to do a fast flutter kick when you're doing the wide kick. So this one, nice and slow. There we go. We got our Bruce Lee planks next, but remember, hands are wide, feet are wide. All right. Ten seconds. Almost there. You got this. We're almost done for the day. Friday workout is almost over. All right, flip it over, Bruce Lee. Okay, so hands wide, feet wide. Now, if you start sliding on this, there's not a lot you can do. But try to keep your butt down, body pretty much as uh, straight as you can. Here we go. Try to slide slowly if you are sliding. Now, we got burpees next. I'm going to count us down into it. We're going to start in a standing position. Up to your feet. All right. Start in a standing position. Here we go. It's going to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. 
Whew. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. We can do this. I know we can. Keep working. A few seconds left. Okay. All right, I got 10. Nine. All right, so we may not go for our ultimate records here, but let's try to beat what we just did. Okay. Ah. I'm thinking we started burpees fresh the last time. Hit the beginning. Must have. Cause I don't remember being that tough to get 10. All right, so hollow rock hold or the hollow rock actual rocking. Second round. Let's get this. Four seconds. Ah. The 30 second rest goes by way too fast. The work itself does not. Come on. We got this with our wide flutter kicks next. Whoo! All right, 10 seconds. Almost there. Try not to roll too high. Or turn into a sit up. All right, flutter kicks. Feet nice and wide. Good. Now, if you're doing these at home, they're great to do at home. If you're at the gym in public doing them, you're gonna look weird, all right? It's probably one of the weirdest looking exercises you can do. Look like a dead bug. Come on. Whoo! It's definitely not easy either. This is a challenge. All right, five seconds. All right, flip it over, Bruce Lee plank. Get those hands wide, feet wide. Elongate the body. Give it your best, keep that butt down. I'm definitely sliding, but I'm trying to control the slide as much as possible. I already know, I'm jamming my finger into these cracks. Good. Come on. A few seconds left, and then we've got speed burpees. Four seconds. Up to your feet. All right, here we go, let's go. There we go, we got it. Come on, keep moving. That's it. Ooh, definitely am not gonna get 17. I'm gonna do good to get 10. How are you doing over there though? You got this? How are you feeling, Sam? Okay, catch your breath. I think I got eight. Eight and a half. All right, really good. That last one. We got one more round. Last round. Oh, thank goodness. Almost there. So close. So close. All right. Quick drink of water. Back in position. All the rocks. Mine are more like hollow sit ups all the time. <laughs> it's all right. She's doing the modified version. All right. Do your best. Let's go. That's exactly right. That's all you Give can me do. your best. Don't worry about anybody else. We're doing our best on this end. You do your best on that side of the camera. Come on. Just keep moving. That's right. Ten seconds. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. The burn is real. We got wide flutter kicks next. Okay. Let's go. I know when you're tired, you want to lay there. It's nice. Try to get into the movement. We're almost done. That's right. Not easy. Come on, we got this, we got this. Let's keep it up. We got the Bruce Lee planks next, nice and wide though. All right, let's go, flip it over. Here we go. Come on, nice and wide, hands wide. Feet wide. Now you want to try to have your hands out in front of your face. Okay, so normally your hands would be under your shoulders doing planks, but the Bruce Lee style is way out in front. We're just making it a little bit harder doing it wide. Come on, keep that butt down. We got speed burpees in three, two, one. Let's go. Turn it more into regular burpees versus speed burpees. This is the last 30 seconds. So, 
Let's definitely give it our best shot. Uh, come on, we got this. Uh, almost there. Uh, seven seconds. Uh, oh, man. Uh, uh, all right. Woo! We killed it. Kill it, kill it, kill it. All right, gotta get our flex finisher. Oh. Make sure, one, you subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Make sure that you like and share. And last, most importantly to Sarah and I, leave a comment below. Let us know what you're gonna be doing over this beautiful weekend. Love you guys, super proud of you. Thanks for working out with us. We'll be back next week with week three of our six week series. Love you guys, we'll see you next time. Boom!